Welcome, my friends, to Art House Radio. I'm Troy. You know how when you buy a car or a jacket or boots or a shirt, something like that, and then you start to notice all the other people who have that same thing? I think there's a scientific term for it. It's not some sort of mystical coincidence. It's that your brain is sort of working behind the scenes to tune into things like that so that you notice. Well, that sort of thing has been happening to me ever since I finished the Roadkill Project two days ago. I'm back in Michigan. And uh, one of them is Tom Green's appearance on Joe Rogan. And this conversation is moving me emotionally because it's like watching two professors uh, express the things about my own road trip that maybe uh, I hadn't thought of yet or I haven't had time to think of those things. And the reason that that's happening, they're not doing that, of course, but Tom Green bought like a camper van tricked it out you know he's a celebrity he's got a lot of resources i don't of course um patreon.com slash arthouse radio if you want to get me there i'd love to do what he's doing he's he's taking his camper van and and living off of the things that he brought and cooking his food in the utah desert and the mojave desert and the new mexican desert and he's he's out there making podcasts and making music and creating things um which is obviously that's what this roadkill project um, was at least in part about, um, but he, it, it's the things that they're talking about that uh, I, I feel like they're articulating things much better than I can. And so in this episode, I, I just wanted to talk about three things, basically. One, why I did the trip initially. Two, talk about the things that, at least at this point, have revealed themselves to me to be things that will affect me for the rest of my life or that that have uh, I don't know that that have had this huge impact on me and thirdly just to talk about why I did the trip from the other end of the trip's perspective because a lot of the times for me at least when I start out doing something the end result is not what I thought it was going to be and that's definitely the case here as well so um, started in Michigan, Roadkill Project, went through Illinois and to Nebraska, Salt Lake City, Boise, Oregon, Portland, then uh, down to California, Big Sur, Pacific Coast Highway, Los Angeles, and then through towards Barstow, through the desert, to the ancient lake. Ride, trying to ride the snake as best as I can. Uh, Grand Canyon, Flagstaff, Arizona. Don't forget Winona. I think Flagstaff before, or maybe it was about the same. Actually, Grand Canyon, then Flagstaff, yeah. Uh, then Old Town, Albuquerque, New Mexico, New Mexican Desert, St. Louis, Indianapolis, and finally back to Michigan. This is the year of the pandemic, obviously, 2020. And I knew things would be challenging. So starting out, I thought, okay, there are people, friends and family, we're in the, this is November 2020, so we're about nine months into this pandemic. And there are friends and family. I didn't get to see everyone, unfortunately, you know, and I'll come to why, because it's like, it has to do with like being remote and, you know, sometimes you look at your car and you're like, hold on, buddy, come on. Um, and they didn't want to put any pressure on people, of course, to feel like, you know, they had to take a risk just because I drove all the way out there. So that sort of became uh, something, I, w I became aware of that on the trip more. But starting out, it was just sort of like, I wanted to see those people. Like, uh, <clears throat> I have a couple brothers on the West Coast. One of them is in Los Angeles. Um, I was able to see him and he hadn't seen anybody from his family since this started. And if there's anything that this pandemic has taught us, it's that I think you gotta have COVID courage and appreciate the things that you weren't appreciating before. So, um, you know, it was nice to see all the people that, uh, that uh, I haven't seen since this whole thing started because I did live in Portland for a long time. And uh, I am a West Coaster in part, even though I was born in Michigan. Um, and in addition to that, I wanted to 
Uh, sorry, sorry. There's like a hair on here. I want to get that off in case it's covering. I don't know if that's better or not. Um, I also thought, well, why not flip on the camera and do a, a, a podcast episode from different places along the road? Drove over five thousand miles, people. Five thousand miles, and uh, you know, so I wanted to uh, just just talk about what was happening. Show. Uh, not necessarily talk about the trip itself because if I broadcast myself as you see that I did a Grand Canyon episode but it's like I'm not the first person to go to the Grand Canyon and I won't be the last who flips on and says I'm at the Grand Canyon and then expect people to go whoa look at that pictures of the Grand Canyon we've never seen that so I tried to 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 think of the most interesting topics just happens to be in the context of being on the road Uh, because I didn't want to exhaust that idea of being on the road anyway um, so I figured why not do that and then also for me as an artist coming up with visual works coming up with sound works putting myself in different points in time and space really produces different results uh, maybe that's a common thing I don't know but uh, changing locations for me I start to connect with different things and different thoughts and then before I know it even if I wasn't creating a ton on the road I start to think about those experiences and I can sort of conjure them up and that um, and that sort of like brings about these in these these works that have like an even if it's slight it'll be like an interesting twist to them and you know I didn't do any painting on the road it's really messy to do on the road I did work on a few sound projects um, that uh, that'll turn into something did some field recordings and things like that so that was the that was the idea going out on this thing and and thinking to myself i also went to south dakota in the summer for the same reason of like yeah i want to be safe and i wore a mask everywhere and i didn't i packed a cooler and i didn't go into places as much as i had to and i went through drive throughs um but like i get you got to live your life you know is day is as as dangerous as this thing might be and as 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 considerate as i want to be of other people's health and i think that i was um as best as i could I understood the risks, but I also, I wanted to, um, uh, live man, you know, be out. I never been to the Southwest, the, the New Mexican desert. I was close to Los Alamos and uh, area 51 and all those things. I love talking about aliens and thinking about aliens, you know, why did I do it? There's a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our mind. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He's told us not to blow it because he uh, knows it's all worthwhile. It's David Bowie. And it is worthwhile. That is the point of doing this trip. You know, to go out there and explore and hit the road and just, that's, that's, that's what you do in this little place I like to call America. It's the perfect place to do it. It's the perfect place to do it anywhere, really. I mean, I would take a road trip in Kenya either starting to rain a little bit so I may have to continue this somewhere else we'll see um, it's not been uh, I mean it's not been the best weather since I got back but that's okay um, so as I was going through this trip though I started to have doubts about this I started to, maybe that's common too you start to have doubts about what you're doing I started to think Jesus I'm really putting people at risk here I, or maybe I didn't think this through well enough I'm a long way from home wherever home is is maybe home should be wherever you are at the moment I don't know Um, so I kept it moving I didn't really know how long I was going to be on the road you know I didn't really know where I might stay um, the most but uh, I actually wrote down in Portland um, why did I do this (laughs) Why, what, what, what was the point of this? What, what, what was I trying to accomplish? And, I, and it, was, it ended up being a long list. And I was happy with the list that I came up with. But just that idea of being, you know, if you've ever driven across the country, you've been like in a remote part of the country, like Grand Canyon's in a remote part, North Dakota's in a remote part, Wyoming, I was like, I felt like I was in the middle of nowhere, the desert, Southwest desert. You really start to think, I'm, there's a very thin line between me and complete disaster here. You know, and I felt those things and I internalized them and processed them on my own. 
But the reason, going back to the Tom Green episode, uh, is that I'm going to switch hands here because it's really uh, heavy. And uh, is because they started talking about one of the things that you do when you're on a trip like that on your own. When you're going out there, you're pushing yourself into the desert, you're pushing yourself into these spaces, you really find out a lot about yourself. And you find out about who you are and what you want to do and the direction that things are going and are you happy with them or are what, how can you, what can you do to improve them? And also how you treat people. You know, have you been an asshole? Could you have done this better? Could you have done that better? And it's probably similar, I would imagine, to people who've had like near-death experiences. You know, they have... Um, those experiences and then afterwards they think, you know, I really got to step my game up here in this regard or that regard because uh, th this experience has taught me that we, we don't know what this is. We don't have a whole lot of time here. And, you know, nine months ago, I would never have take, I would never have thought, boy, it, I wish I could just go to a bar and have a drink and have a laugh with some, with the buddies, you know, and and uh, you know, go to a movie. I would never have thought that that was going to be impossible for at least a while, and now it is. And I just did a road trip, and I kept thinking the whole time along the way that uh, you know, I just wish that I could go into a place and talk with locals and be like, "Tell me about, uh, tell me about uh, Winona, Arizona. Tell me about Albuquerque. What is this about? Give me the history here. What do you like it? What's your name? What do you do? You know, those kinds of things. And uh, but you can't. And uh, you know, I, I would say, two of the biggest highlights along the way for me, even without that, um, I did a lot of hiking. But uh, the two of the big things were Big Sur, California, and the Grand Canyon. You know, in terms of just like seeing nature, because that was a huge part of this trip too. Um, and I mean, there's no word, there aren't words that can articulate those experiences. Like I can't tell you in a podcast what those places are like. But just that you, you learn, or I learned at least, about how I am simultaneously insignificant and very significant at the same time, which is a weird thing, and I'm still going to have to process that. But, you know, after this trip was over, I want to keep this under 15 minutes if I can. After this trip was over, I started thinking about uh, what happened, and basically what I came down to was something that I already mentioned, which is trying to figure out who I am, the direction of things, and, you know, do I like where things are going? And the answer to a lot of that is yes, but there are definitely some things that have been illuminated to me, like some big ones that I can't really discuss here. Maybe I'll discuss it on a later episode or something. Um, but it, it, it was great. I mean, I don't know how many states, maybe 14 states, and uh, I got to see so many things. Uh, I think Kansas and Colorado are now the only states I haven't been to west of uh, Michigan, maybe, give or take. Um, and, I, you know, <clears throat> I, think, uh, I, think, uh, I think these are things that can be done. Like, there's a lot of things you can't do. Like, right, flying it seems risky, and uh, trains uh, maybe seem risky, but you can get in your car and drive. You don't have to drive all the way to the west coast, but you can drive anywhere. Drive to your to a park to a nearby. Uh, if you have a national park near you, hit it, man. That's the thing that I learned from this: is that you 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 drive to make things smaller, but at the same time they become bigger than you could ever imagine. All right, I'm gonna end it here, and I'm gonna come back and talk on another episode about this at arthouse.radio at Spaces with Light uh, and Patreon.com/slash Arthouse Radio. I love you guys.